breathtake. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Welcome back to my channel and the most anticipated mm -hmm. series in a very long time, the renovation series. So episode one, you guys saw the house that we purchased, which was like the- Open house tour, I don't empty know. Empty house tour. Yeah. Empty house tour. So episode two is called- The game plan. You remember Our huge game plan for the house. This is Maddie, who I kind of mentioned in episode one. She has been one of my best friends since year seven, <laughs> but she's also one of the founders of Studio Albus, which mm -hmm. is an interior design and spatial design studio. Studio. Studio practice. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I was really skeptical. I was Were like, you? I don't need an interior designer. Honestly. What did you think? I thought that you guys just like helped pick cushions and like picture frame. No, I know, no shade. I just, I was uneducated. I don't know. I was just like, I can work out this house. I know what I want, which yeah, maybe I knew what I wanted, but like executing that. Not to the extent that you need to know. Mm -mm -mm. No. Like if you can get a designer, like Do I it. Do highly it. recommend it. I can't even. I just can't eat it. We walk through the space and we understand what the client wants or would like on their wish list. I generally like to keep a, a little bit quiet. I'm not really impulsive because I don't want to go back on what I'm saying. That's what I hated though, because I was like, I was trying to be quiet and not tell you well, my ideas. Yeah. But you didn't say anything. It's a thought I was like, process. Do you know what I mean? Because if I say something and it doesn't work, you might have your hopes up about something. It needs to be educated. In these yeah. scenes, you, you just hear Maddie going, mm. 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 It's like the typical, mm. Mm. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. There's a Maybe nice smell of musk it. in the mask. It does, bedroom isn't it? Too. I know, it even fucks up the mm -hmm. It's so I can watch Sarah there. pooping oh. while I'm, I'm in bed, you know? <laughs> no. How annoying is this? Look, I can go all the way in. Yeah, but you can put like your winter things. Just no. deal with it. I don't want the bath in here. I want a bath in the main bathroom. That's where you should put it. Oh. Is this a walk in? Oh, that stinks, man. Yeah, I know. I just don't think it's a great use of space. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, 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 Carpet's pretty dark. So this is Fox's big boy room. Oh, okay. So, so that's a toilet. Yeah, okay. Content room. So this is where I'll film like sit down chats and mm -hmm. I'll film like IGTVs. I don't fully know yet, but we're thinking maybe, just maybe a spare room, room for okay. like when we have another baby. I think it'd be a waste as an office because the office will be at the back bathroom. <laughs> yeah, wow. Honestly, what the heck? Like it's just. Why? Why? This gives me anxiety. It's like they went on a trip to like Mexico and wanted to bring it back. Yeah, and they should have left it in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fast food vibes. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. I'm thinking we have like one cohesive theme, yeah. but then we do one bathroom different. So either we do our ensuite, maybe like pink mm -hmm. terrazzo or something. Mm -hmm. This will be the kids bathroom in the future. Mm -hmm. And the boys will be like, that's lame. Are you saying we're having multiple boys? I know. <laughs> I, know I'm having, I know I'm having three boys. Like, I'm having three boys. I just want to be able to film in there. Like, I would love a pink bathroom to do, like... Well, then do it. There's no, it's our house. There's no yeah. rules. You can do whatever you want. This is pretty much the reason that we wanted this house. I just think it's really cool. So this is going to be, we're thinking, like, the movie room. I, and Kurt hates when I say slash rumpus. But, like, eventually... What's wrong with rumpus? It's a gross word. It's gross. <laughs> Rumpus! Get <laughs> rumpy! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really interested to see your opinion on this. It's nice and open. Yeah. Mm. Timber, real timber is always so hard to maintain. Yeah. There are or, so many products now. Awesome. There's engineered products, zero maintenance, and they've molded it from real timber. Does it look fake? No. Hmm. Like when you go to Greece, not that I've ever been, when I look on Instagram and I see Greece, it's all it's white. It's all white. And we want to like even paint the back fence white. Like all the fences so white. So you're going to make this so glary. Um, but I want it white. What? Bright doesn't necessarily have to mean white. Like I know there well, is there the is good thing about it, it is that you can just hose it and you get a blower vac or a vacuum and vacuum it. Maybe yeah. maybe we see how it goes while we renovate and we do it last. So maybe well, we, we do You can do a lighter timber or, or exactly. whatever one of the yeah. less red. Oh no, definitely less red, more oaky. Yeah, yeah. okay. This is like we were thinking of getting like a really nice white, maybe Moroccan tile. So like nothing crazy colour. Okay. Something well, just, you we, broke it. No, like this is, a, this is a liability, bro. I've got a baby. <laughs> we were thinking cool, of doing like a nice tile or something there. Well, yeah, that's cool. I would extend it to the other side so you've got some. Oh, yeah, like an art. But then where do you stop it? Like there? Stop it. We can oh, yeah. The edge. Yeah, that'd Just, be cool. I think so it looks cohesive. 
Yeah. Totally. That's, that's a cool yeah. office. It's okay. pretty big though. Mm. Okay. Either we do like a big communal desk which could like along the wall, mm -hmm. but we also need a place that we can podcast with possibly four people. Right. Like a round table where it's like everyone's mics are clamped to the table and we're chatting because at the moment in our current desk it's like a desk here, desk here, yeah, and right. we're like this talking. I just want it to be communal. Yeah, okay. If possible. One big communal desk along there somehow. Mm. And we do like a circle in the corner. Do we do like I have no idea. Sun lizard land. Okay. Lizard okay. land. Do we have to get a landscape or can we just wing this ourselves? How confident are you with gardening? Zero. When I first showed Maddie the picture, like I sent her pictures, the first thing you said was, oh, we're taking that wall out. I think that there's a column here. A column may be holding a lot of weight all out to the roof. Maybe here on, is probably, we could probably open up. But Let's pretend there is a column, there probably is. Yeah. We're leaving it, don't worry about this anymore. I think it needs to be open, right? Yeah. Because you're missing a view from outside. Yeah. yeah. That's and right. also, I live in the kitchen, I want to be able to watch Fox. Yeah. Where's your, your eye line, right? Yeah. yeah. See, I don't know what you want for your kitchen. Are you wanting an underbench oven or a stack? Oh, what? sorry? <laughs> it's difficult. It's a tricky one. Where yeah. it's white and it has the square. You Are you talking about the cupboard doors? Cupboard doors. Yeah, it's called Shaker. Shaker. I love Shaker. Traditional white homie. You still want it to be a little bit uh, like modern. Still modern. But still, like with lighting and artwork, it still all, all works. Like, I know these doors are, are pretty decent as they are, but like a timber bifold, if we did that right, would that mean we'd have to do those those as well? I'd match it. It, it opens it up, it makes it more user friendly, I think. I think it would be beautiful. Like the floorboards we have in our apartment now, but lighter. We're thinking maybe like a floating shelf here, like framing the TV, maybe a few here. I like cabinetry over a, a physical. I'd rather it built in. I yeah. like built in. It'll be cut from like wherever the skin finishes like this, up like that, timber slats. Love it. Running up along here. The handrail will have to be on the other side. I want the timber to finish here, flooring, and then go up the staircase. Back from upstairs onwards is all carpet. Do we try to chop the ensuite and make it smaller and make this cupboard space? There's not enough cupboard space for us. Uh, yeah, because you don't have a lot of wardrobe space for. We don't That's need right. a bath in the ensuite. We don't need an ensuite this big. Um, we just need a, a nice shower, a toilet, and a sink. And I would rather have more cupboard space. Detailing of the doors and stuff like so that. So right at the end of the house tour, Sarah shoved her phone in my face <laughs> and with her Pinterest boards, which is really lovely. I just want to make sure <laughs> we're on the same page. It's so rare for a client to have the same style as us. Mm. So rare. So we have to adapt, that's our job. But you, whenever you describe your style, oh, it's my pet peeve. Two what? words or less, you know what I mean? Keep your design style to two words or less. If you're saying like, coastal bar in California, gangster princess, like I don't, I don't, what no, is that? Mate. In two words, what's your design style? Neutral, effortless. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait, okay, wait. Coastal Australiana. Okay, I'm down with it. So I can do, yeah, I can do it, yeah. I go home, we've measured it all up, so I'll draw it up, and that usually takes about a week. But once it's drawn on the paper, it makes more sense, and then we'll present it again to see if you like what we've come up with. I'm gonna make this sharp, short, to the point. Mm -hmm. Here is the game plan of the house. As we walked through the front door, there was like a dead section to the right, contemplating a mudroom. So a mudroom is usually a space that you sit, you can put your shoes on. So we're gonna use up that dead space. And then we walk into the living room and kitchen. First, we need to get mm. rid of the wall. We need to get rid of it. Let's hope we can get rid of the beam. If mm. we can't, we're just gonna have a beam there. We'll just deal with it. Now the kitchen and living, hopefully, is a big open space. Joining the living room and the kitchen together. Stone top that drops or there's a separate section that's lower that runs into the TV unit. Part of it under the window becomes a window seat. At the moment you guys saw that it's kind of like mm -hmm. this random L shaped kitchen. We're going to do a huge island in the middle which has six people around there. A really beautiful bright white open plan kitchen and then in the dining room this is mm. I said this idea Kurt didn't like it. Oh, Maddie was, no, I Maddie, it. I love this idea. Maddie was on board so we want to do like a booth seat on mm. one side because don't you think when you go to like a cafe or a restaurant, you always want the booth seat. And of then course the you do. Pleb. It's the one, it's like the lady seat. And I think this is where we'll put the decorative lighting, not over the kitchen. So the main bathroom. So Sarah wanted 
one of her bathrooms to be like the feature bathroom and we weren't sure which one. She was I contemplating said the ensuite. The, like, her, your ensuite. Yeah. Master bedroom ensuite. I think it should be the main bathroom. Why? Because that's the one that everyone goes to. So, so if you- So like, but that's my only concern. It's like pink terrazzo, which is like this here, this kind of tile. That's so Aww. risky doing it in the main bathroom. Well, the light will come in. It will be really oh pretty. You can leave. It'll be a bathroom where you can leave the door. I love open. pink, but that's a, that's a big commitment doing it's a subdued. pink bathroom. Don't think fuchsia. Think Ew. like a muted like mermaid. A, not mermaid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I saw this house on Pinterest where it had like open beams on the staircase and our staircase right now is pretty dark and dingy and just like super boring so i want to knock that wall out like you guys saw kurt explaining and wooden beams just to open the space they're up. called battens the amount of jargon <laughs> that i've learned you need learned. to know the jargon your bedroom yeah the bedroom the bedroom <sighs> is tricky it's gonna be the hardest room of the house create more wardrobe space so like make the ensuite smaller use the room that use we're the... sacrificing and use it for wardrobe space this house doesn't have enough storage and that's a big challenge making sure that it's more it's more than enough because yeah. you're a hoarder i'm not a what is she's a hoarder <laughs> i'm not a you're I'm not... <laughs> she's a hoarder how am i hoarder you have a miscellaneous drawer <laughs> <laughs> miscellaneous T-shirt drawer. Oh, now. And then in the nursery, we're just gonna add a built-in cupboard because at the moment, there's nothing. Just on the ground floor, I'm thinking all floorboards, but Sarah likes carpet in bedrooms. I so just, that's a quick little, it's a, it's a little change, it's not major. But just when I wake up, I just wanna like put my feet the on The softness, carpet. I get it. Okay, moving on to upstairs. Nothing's really happening upstairs. No. Like what you saw in episode one is pretty true. Good. Everything is cosmetic upstairs. Mm -hmm. So like everything's going in terms of like carpet, wall color. Stay tuned, but no walls, no massive construction changes. No, no here. massive. No. Besides the staircase. So oh, we are, and this, we and are this in the rumpus and room. Glass. We're taking out the half height wall and replacing that with full height glass. Get the light down from the rumpus room down into the stairwell. Uh, we'll do it. I'm mm. in two minds. I'm just scared because, like, Fox is a grub. He's going to put his sticky little hands on those. You teach him, you say no, and then he won't. Good. I can't wait I'll for you to it. have baby I'll and just it. say, no, don't eat Abby's toys. They do it anyway. <laughs> Which I think will be really cool. No, 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 it's what Maddie says. It'll be a moment. So designer. It'll be a moment. You're not a real designer if you don't say it. That's no, gonna be a moment. moments everywhere. It's such a moment. It's such a wake up. <laughs> Okay, moving into the office, which I'm so excited about. Completely detached from the house. Yep. But you'll definitely have to do something with security. So we're gonna get a really big security system in yep. place for the whole house. Yep. So we've split the room into two. One side will be office, the other side will be podcast and built-in lounge. That room actually floods. So that's something we're gonna have to work on in mm. making sure it's waterproof, especially with floorboards. So um, watch this space. And then in terms of the backyard, we're still kind of stewing on that, but I think we're gonna try to do the house first move in and then do the backyard because like there's already so much to do here we will do the outdoor shower yeah the outdoor shower we still don't fully Something. know get rid of the shells yeah the shells, the shells we, they gotta go ugly Tacky. He calls me Stumpy Unicorn. That's like his <laughs> pet name for me. You know when you're like, if I was an animal, what would I be? And everyone's like, a dolphin. Like, He's like, That's Stumpy <laughs> Unicorn. The thing we're nervous about now is we need to knock that wall out, mm -hmm. see if there's a pole there, like, yeah. a, like a, what's it called? Beam. It's a beam and a column. I just have no idea of like, how much things cost. So I'm like, yeah, let's just like rip that out and do that. And Kurt's looking at me like, dude, you have no idea how yeah. much that is. Did your house need renovation? No, it didn't. But does it's anyone need to really renovate? No. Does anyone need to build a new house? No. But do they? Yes. yes. That's the point. You're my hype girl. This yeah. is, I need you. You're my G you up. Mate, you need to be replying to my hate comments. Like, oh, does anyone need to reply to the kitchen? Troll. <laughs> Stay under the bridge. <laughs> You're, you say it's your forever home, it's so not gonna be your forever home. So what, Kurt? No. I agree with that. Uh, I give her about five years. I love change, but I'll just like change my hair, not my house. No, that is the game plan of the mm -hmm. house. I hope you guys kind of get an idea of like the approach we're gonna go for because if we didn't do this episode, consecutive episodes would make they no- They wouldn't make any sense. They would make no sense. No. So when Mads and I go shopping together, you'll be able to kind of understand where we're shopping for, what we're talking about and mm -hmm. the whole vibe. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and we'll see you in the next episode. That is a wrap. Who high fives with that like <laughs> dude? The only problem was I wasn't recording so we have to do it. Don't, me. don't even say that. I would <laughs> die. This light is do so Don't you forget hot. if you put deodorant on or not? Oh, I hate that. Are you like dripping? Have you smelt my deodorant? No. Come and smell it. Is this the scary part? Yeah. <laughs> well, we, just remember we haven't got anything
quite a gap. I've just got so to tell be worse. you. So it's <laughs> like, going to be even worse. We might not need anything engineered though, which is lovely. Unless we're really like set on opening this up. <laughs> we're really set on it. Yeah, shivers. <laughs> What's going to be the most expensive part of this actually? That kitchen living area. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's my baby, you know. Okay. Which I think, exactly. you know, don't hold back on that. Yeah. Kitchen is my jam. Don't skimp on cost on that because yeah. I just have issues. Yeah. yeah. Like I'll get samples of things that I think suits your style, but we'll do a shopping. Yeah, I think I know a vibe I want, but I need to Can go and see Can you give her it. a rough number of how much they cost? Because I know how much they cost. Oh. Meaning like for one tab? Yeah. $400, $400, $400, $400. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Because it's a specialty finish. Your chrome or your white or, or whatever. Gold. But you can... <laughs> Black schmack. I don't like black. No. But you're doing a demo yourself. So. You better get those steel cap boots on <laughs> ASAP because mama feels poor already. <laughs> that is so practical, especially yeah. with kids. But yeah. that, that's like 12 grand easy. What do you mean? What's in there? It's just because of mechanisms and things. We need to work out an exact budget of how much are we willing to spend and then yeah. stay to that. Yeah. 